Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kitty Plays Danganronpa and this is episode 11 and if you remember last time Toko came barging into our room after we let her in of course and so now we have to talk to her so T Toko what's the matter what's your problem why are you s so surprised am I really that annoying <laughs> well I already know I'm annoying I came here knowing that, that so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. <laughs> I, I have a f favor to ask. I, I want to. G oh. I want you to g go somewhere with me. She wants to go somewhere with me. I, I forgot to press the reaction. Hang on. Frankly, I'm shocked. Okay, let's go try it again. Cause I forgot to. Do I forgot to do the reaction. What's your problem? And I'm starting to stutter because I've been reading her lines. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And where is it you want to go? Well, the, the library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Biakia? He spends all his time in the library anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say something wrong? <laughs> You're not a blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> then let's g go to the library. Okay, I got it, the library. Jeez, why so pushy? Okay, we'll go see Mr. <laughs> Buttface. C quiet, be quiet when you g go in. Don't let him see you. Trust me, that's the last thing I want. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library, looking at that ugly turd-faced Biakia. <coughs> Unsurprisingly, Biakia was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. <laughs> He's really here. Ah, yes, Toko, we get it. You love him. I mean, I used to love him too, but then I realized how much of a turd face he was. And yeah. Okay, Makoto, go talk to him. What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. <sighs> Do I have to talk to him? Ugh. Sub turd face. How's the turd face? <laughs> Everyone's like, Cat, stop hating on Bianchi. What did he ever do to you? Well, first of all, he stinks like a giant turd. So, there's that. He will talk to this butt face. Dots. He seems to really be focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Seriously, I just want to go and, like, leave. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. Yeah, it'd be my pleasure, actually. But I can't. And take her with you. Hey, um, Biakia? <sighs> Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men. Be a woman dominated by a strong man? <laughs> I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. <laughs> Get out. And go take a bath. You smell. Biakia! You're the one that smells like a giant turd, so why don't you go take a bath? Actually, no amounts of baths would ever clear up your stink. Ahem. <laughs> Poor Toko, but yeah, like, go shower. I couldn't stand myself if I didn't shower that long. But you know, there's some people who just go so long and they smell so bad. Togami's one of them. I'm just kidding. He stinks like a giant turd no matter what. Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Go now before your stench latches onto the entire room. Maybe that's why I smell like a turd, because you keep following me around. 
Uh, okay, I'll stop making you smell like a turd. I love adding my own commentary to this. Or my own lines. It makes it interesting, right? He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. Poor Toko. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? I mean, hey, I know what she's going through. I've been there where I've liked a dude. And he was like, ew, I hate you. Like, get away from me. But, like, it's not like I stunk or anything. Because, like, I, I bathe and shower regularly. But it was more like... I was just a huge ass dork and that kind of I guess was a turn off for some guys but you know it's okay because yeah I realized those guys weren't my type all along anyway so <sighs> you learn from your mistakes <laughs> Biakia does it go that far <laughs> oh that that's right she she thinks yeah he must be really concerned about me! Huh? <laughs> he told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Yeah, no. <sighs> hey, M Makoto. What do you think? Think about what? Do you think Bibiakia and I would be good together? No, not really. Uh -huh. But I do kind of, well, I, sh I do kind of ship it, but, like, I think she could do better. Just saying. Um, well, now, I don't really know. Maybe. That's true. There's really no way to know. <laughs> but the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. I mean, sure. Okay. Toko, you're not drunk, are you? Oh, you're drunk off love. Duh. There m might come a day when y you understand. Maybe. It's a someday. Well, you know, there's this thing with Hero we've been, we've been doing. Yeah, Hero and I are kind of off and on right now, so... Cough, cough. Oh, Makoto, I didn't know you were also into dudes. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop being a dork face and get on with this. Well, bye. <laughs> ah, young love! Go away, Monokuma. Wah! Ba -bum, ba -bum. Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? I mean, he's a giant turd face. <laughs> but eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Okay, that was nice to know. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. There's still some time left in the day. What to do? Oh, goody, yet another free time. I feel like... Uh, I don't know who to see. I might go get more items because, like... Uh, I don't... There's only so many people I could spend time with right now that I have gifts for. You know what? I'm gonna go get back at Togami and just throw that tumbleweed at his face. Just for the fun of it, I don't care if it goes nowhere, I'm gonna go do that. I'm, I'm gonna go take that tumbleweed and just throw it at his face, because honestly, that'd be, her that'd be hilarious. He should be at the library, right? Because, duh, we were just there. Okay, so I'm gonna go see him at the library. And be like, hey, Togami, I got something for you. And he'll be like, what is it, Makoto? I thought I told you not to bother. Why are you throwing a tumbleweed at my face? Because you're a giant turd. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's go do that. So. Okay, is the butt face here? Oh, what the butt face is here. Dots. He seems to be really focused on that book. Now is not really a good time to talk to him. Are you kidding me? I can't throw that tumbleweed at his face right now? How rude. I am so mad. I was hoping to I was hoping to have some laughs. 
But no. <sighs> I guess I gotta go hang with someone else then. Okay. What the crap do I have now? Let's see. I'll save that for him. The, the tumbleweed. Okay. I might have to go get more stuff. Uh, I don't know who would like this. Oh, gothic to design. I could go spend more time with Celeste. Like, I'm, I'm like, I like her, but I don't like her. But I, I like her because she's so interesting. And I love her personality. But, like, you know, she's also kind of a stuck-up brat. So, but I do like her. So, she's not my least favorite. I'll go see her. Where is she? That turd face. Okay. It's obviously not there. Okay. Awesome! I'll, I'll refrain from him for now. Just so you guys aren't like, God, you spend all your time with Hero. You're so obsessed. Like, I'll spend time with other people. Okay, she's... Let's just teleport there. Because we wasted time trying to see Togami when that went nowhere. So I'm definitely, the next free time, I'm definitely going to shove that at him. Okay. Hey, Celeste. What's up, girl? Most unfortunate. Does this school not have a dry cleaning service? How terribly upsetting. What am I supposed to do if my clothes become soiled? Hmm, should I hang out with Celeste for a while? Yeah, since I can't do what I originally There's planned. To be done. Normally, my pride would not permit me to allow you to be alone with me. But fine, I will allow you to entertain me for a while. Also, if I seem kind of off, I guess it's because retrograde is like throwing my brain upside down. So like sometimes I'll say stuff that you, that doesn't make sense to even me. Or like yada yada. So I apologize <coughs> if this episode kind of seems off. The last one I don't think seemed that off. But it's just today I guess I feel especially out of sorts. Because I've like been real busy today and stuff. So like. But I thought I'd just record an episode tonight anyway, just to get it done. And because I, I miss doing this, and I wanted to do this again, so I feel like I'm getting back on track with these episodes, and I'm, like, really motivated to record them now. So, yeah. Also, I apologize for talking over Celeste, but whatever. I killed some time with Celeste. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Celeste a present? Yes. It just so happens that the one thing I was hoping for has appeared before me. <laughs> it must be a gift from the heavens. I will receive it happily. Does that mean she liked it? Let's see. Say, Makoto, do you like Mahjong? Uh, I've never actually played. Most unfortunate. Is that so? A pity. I was hoping we might play together. I actually did play it once or twice a few years ago, and it's quite fun. I do kind of forget how to play, though, so... If I ever play again, I'll need a refresher. But yeah, it was pretty fun, though. Are you good at it? Yes, indeed. Good? No, I am not merely good. I once played a game of Russian Roulette in Mahjong and won. <laughs> Russian Roulette? Hmm. It was a truly fierce contest, put on by a half-insane billionaire in the basement of his mansion. My opponents were a fierce old man and a silver-haired boy who was said to have the devil's own luck. We played with a modified rule set. I remember well the glass tiles we used. And you won? Mm -hmm. I defeated them both at once. I will never forget the angry, twisted look on their faces. The crowd that have the crowd that been invited to watch became positively riotous. Righteous. Sorry. Nobody could believe I had won. <laughs> I mean, look at me. <laughs> that is one of my fonder memories. Dots. I'm really glad I didn't agree to play Mahjong with her. Yay! More skill points. Okay, well, hey, it's better than nothing. Unable to comprehend Celeste's fearsome past, I went back to my room. Oh, goody, nighttime. Announcement. School announcement. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, I know what this is for, duh. I mean, I should have expected this to happen now, so. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Emergency! Emergency! I can't with him. Gather in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? It's obvious, Makoto. I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Yeah, we we all do. Okay. So. Oh, hey, Kyoko. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Indeed. Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait. Okay. Is Mondo? Hey, Mondo. You and Taka getting along Yo. well? Cough, cough. Hey, man, you about to head in. Yeah, has everyone already gone on ahead? <laughs> shit. Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing good's gonna come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Uh, Mondo? Are you sure you're okay? You kinda went all out in that sauna. I mean, you really went <laughs> all out. Okay, I'll stop. What? Huh? Who went all out? That crap doesn't even faze me. Yo. But you know... <laughs> they're at the edge of hell. A promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Okay, I did say I was gonna stop with the yaoi innuendos and stuff. So I'm not I'm gonna refrain from commenting. I'll just let your you um your guys' imaginations go wild with this one. Have fun with that. Yo. Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. Man, something <laughs> Something unique must have happened between the two of them. I don't think I want to know. I'm so innocent. Please help me. Cough. I mean, that, I'm saying that as Makoto. Trust me. But yeah. It's just so um, hard to not comment on that. But yeah. I mean, it's not that hard. I swear. Okay. Enough dilly-dallying. We gotta go to the gym! And see the stupid bear! Oh, hey, Hifumi. Hey, Hifumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? Are you okay, Hifumi? Something what happened. Is that? Mr. Nagi, don't scare me like that. Oops, sorry. So sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. And what do you mean by ghost friend? Are we being haunted by Leon or Sayaka? Uh, are they haunting us? <laughs> Junko too? Sorry, I almost forgot about her. Damn, that's true, too. I suppose. I guess we have no choice. I have to go, too. Even though, you know. Can't ignore him, though. Or else we'll die. <sighs> hmm. Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well. Indeed. What might await us this time? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um... How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode. What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here, living in blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me, remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? 
How'd that turn out? It seems to me there is no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well... That's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. I would say stuff, but I can't, so... Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck! Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but... <laughs> <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, gonna say it! And this is why I love Hero, ladies and gentlemen. It's not like some occult mystery. It's about last night. I was here, I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. <sighs> what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it. Could it be? It was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site? For serious? I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you d definitely made it up. It must have just been the sound of the ocean in th that head of yours. Well, you know, I know what it is. But I ain't gonna say it because that's a major spo That's a big spoiler. Major spoiler. So I'm keeping my mouth shut. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Thanks, Monokuma. You're, you're a real doll. Huh? <laughs> or maybe a machine gun. Boo -hoo -hoo. That can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? What? Ah, ah, beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. Just like myself, because I ain't spoiling this for anybody out there, so. It's a secret from a secret! And? Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Say what? You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? If you please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. 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 Sorry, I can't speak yeah. tonight. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, the next I'm black game. Black. Monokuma, we need to get on with this, so stop talking over me. But you're the one talking over me. Whatever. The next blackened hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored! Hey, um... So, I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some d demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Damn it. Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say, just awful! You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. Got it. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. That's a promise. Hmm. Hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's... <laughs> embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. I did a little investigating on my own and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And they're nasty. Just kidding. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. 
Makoto has a huge crush on Hiro, and he's in love with him. Oh, sorry, that's not it, is it? Makoto went to bed until he was in the fifth grade. Yeah, that's it, sorry. Cough, cough. What? How? How'd you find out about this? My relationship with Mondo is out there! Taka, it's not a secret. You guys were making out in the dining hall. Uh oh, okay. Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours if someone doesn't become blackened by then. Extreme. All your deepest, darkest, most embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll up. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah, yeah wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate? <laughs> yep, you got it! They're all plen they're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we never show over something like that. Oh, sorry, that's Makoto. <sighs> We'd never kill over something like that. What? What'd you say? Count on it. He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail, and plus my secret is no secret. I'm in love with you, Mondo. Marry me. Ahem. <clears throat> no one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Shut up, Monokuma. Oh, oh no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed, they are not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um... I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me! Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? I will start. I am going to propose to Mondo tonight. Now what, every what is everyone else's secret? Without a doubt. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... Oh, I already said. I'm going to propose to Mondo. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. I d don't want to hear your stupid story. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> Besides, I don't... I don't w want to talk about it. Yeah, because her secret... You'll find out sooner enough. But... Yeah. It's huge. Let me just say that much. I don't care what anyone says. I d don't want to talk about mine. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up now. As for me... Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature. I don't want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on, come on. Hivumi, stop being creepy. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. As I said. Here we go. No, Hivumi. Bad. Get into your corner. Hey! I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Say what? <laughs> I love this. I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, so sorry. I, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um... If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. <laughs> well, 
Well, that's okay then. I still love you, Mondo. Can we can we have a a, a wedding ceremony tonight? Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you kill someone to keep it? Nobody's got something like that, right? <clears throat> okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... You hear me? Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. <clears throat> so, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh. Oh, he's so cute, poor Taka. Oh, uh, okay, sh I'm sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but... Nighttime bell rings! <clears> hmm, <throat> This is a school announcement. As such, soon the doors to the dining hall will... Okay, then. Sweet. Hmm. Nighttime. Oh, I'm sorry. The camera moved accidentally. I mean, yeah, with my mic on it. Nighttime already, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There is no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Eh. And I know exactly what the tragedy is, but I'll shut up. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly, he can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action. It's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. Morning. Good. Good morning. Good morning. I almost forgot. Wow. <laughs> Nice reaction! I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint! Well, what? What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person! That's even worse than a school announcement. Go the F away, Monokuma. Let me go back to sleep. I don't care if you kill me. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun! Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth! Hear what? <laughs> Are you sure you should be acting this way back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates? What? Say what? Whoa, 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 what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. Wh what happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> that's, me for, that's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something's happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if... No. What if they're pointless? Especially now when... The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Ah, I'm Makoto. Uh, um... Are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... Of course, he's quiet. Biakia. 
You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? <laughs> Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, <laughs> or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um... So, so something really did happen. Does that... Excuse me. Does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. <laughs> just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly, someone felt it was more important than that. Than that. Huh? <laughs> to judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? What? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. <laughs> what good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong with him for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Nah, he was born that way. Wait. Un unfortunately. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Hmm. The game is afoot. What a dumbass. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so as I know where to go, I'm going to go straight there. Well, not straight. Straight there, like teleport. But... I'll walk there just cause and in case anyone's on the way and I oh speaking of hello hero nice to see you at this unfortunate time you make things yep. better hey Makoto honestly what do you think huh about what for serious about Piakia you think he's being brainwashed or what nah I think he's a giant turd face that's what I think I, I don't know actually I do know he's a giant turd face you know more about that kind of thing than me, right? Huh? What? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some kind of psychic, right? So can you tell me if he really is a turd face? Hey. Listen, Makoto, I think you've completely misunderstood what it is I do. Okay, listen, fortune telling is like... Well? It's totally different from brainwashing or hypnosis or any of that pseudo-scientific bullcrap. <sighs> I need you to understand that. So you expect me to think fortune telling isn't pseudoscience? Sorry, but I don't want to get yelled at. Unless it's cough, other circumstances. I'll shut up now. Okay, bye hero. Gotta go check out the, the scene. I mean, stuff. Eh. That ain't gonna spoil much, though. Okay. open, but aren't these supposed to be locked? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Gee, thanks, Monokuma. I investigation? It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Biakia! I see. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. C come on! <laughs> and the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. Gee, Togami, you seem to know an awful lot about this. Ahem. <clears throat> murder. Cough, cough. He was muttering as if talking only to himself. Very suspicious. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze.
Forty euro. What? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at, but as soon as I did, <laughs> you let out a scream. A wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me, like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Byakuya, on the other hand, is as calm as ever, right? Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. See what I mean? He has no emotion. I see. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust? Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. It's almost as it's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head w oh, my head was swimming. I was still reeling too, confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head, what the heck? Hey, I heard screaming. Did something? <laughs> Poor Kyo Taka. Chihiro. And there it is. The first announcement we hear for this. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. What the hell was that? What? Ah, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovery announcement! That Chihiro really is... Naturally. Dead. Yes. Before you start screaming your head off, go round everyone up. It seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Of course he thinks it's all a game. Or, you know, that, that's what it is to him. Because he's a turd face, so. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around, gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. Damn, I couldn't keep her safe. <laughs> Sakura. <laughs> so there's another victim. <sighs> Which means we are now in the same position once again. <laughs> F man. What the? What the hell is this? What? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. <laughs> In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. <laughs> okay, Havumi, you tell yourself that. <sighs> Shut up. Boy, she really hates him, huh? Okay, so I might just end this here. And, you know... Make this another, I guess, short episode. And then I will continue on later. So thank you guys for watching episode 11. And I will see you guys in the next one. So take care.